So now that we have determined that the child is shorter and is four years old, and at that time, let's assume that you keep measuring the child and then it appears that at, hundred, at four years of age, is less than 100 centimeters, you will take them immediately for a bone age assessment, followed by growth hormone, followed by IGF-1 and thyroid. These three tests will give an insight into your child's back chemistry. From that point, he would or she would be treated with these three hormones. Usually, some and uh, the, the shortage is for growth hormone and IGF-1. Both these hormones are directly responsible for elongation of the bones. The other part of thyroid, however, um, you, the children may or may not have it. It has become possible now to increase your children's average height more and above that of the parents. Because in my particular case, what I do is I would freeze, freeze the uh, plates, the growth plates from fusing. You can go on the net and check what fusing means. The bone starts to get elongated at, uh, from, from the, the ends. So as it stretches, the, as the distal end stretches, the proximal ends fuse together. That's when the height stops. That's why we go with the radiographs and figure out how much time we still have left. In case of males and females, uh, there, there's lots of theories about it, but in case of males and females, and I would say a safe age would be around 20, 21 till when, where we can increase their height. Over that age, we still have cases. I just got one case recently. It was a gentleman who was 28 years old, young man. Um, and we, are ta we have taken up the case because his bone is still partly uh, not fused. I'll see you more on other videos. Till then, goodbye.